The young poet Lord Byron wrote as he was on that ship that fell apart. It may have seen men do not soon forget. Breaks their hopes or hearts or heads or necks. Providentially, we stood fast between two great rocks, John Byron noted. Sandwiched, the wager did not sink completely. At least, not yet. I sat next to him when he's dropped. Having a few dried shellfish, about five or six I believed in my pocket at that time. From time to time I'd, I'd put one in his mouth, but alas, it was too little to save him. And well, he was released by death. And it was kind of bad to a point where uh, they were thinking about eating each other. I don't know where to begin in those Chilean days. I remember we washed up and, well, I was in condemned hellhole. And in fact, uh, I was, one god in particular really hated my guts. And uh, let's just say he poked the living shit out of me anytime he got. Those days though, those were the closest I ever known to be a dog. That's for sure. In that Chilean mainland, we were in a condemned hole, and we were treated like savages. Times, guards would even come down there, and they shake us around and parade us like circus animals. I remember one guard in particular treated me like a joke. He poked me every goddamn second he had, till poked the living crap out of me with a stick, with with his gun. That was the most horrifying memories of my life. I can tell you that much. It wasn't pleasant at all.